Hey, my name is Justin Case, and look what I got in the mail. My Weather XM Weather Station. Super psyched, and I'm going to talk about it, but before we get into it, hey, looks like the mainnet is coming online for Weather XM in mid to late February. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! We're finally going to get tokens! Yeah! Which is obviously why I bought the system, right? So, as it says right here on their Discord, um, <laughs> tons going on. This is the big news. Mainnet is set to fire off in the second half of February. Uh, TGE happened in mid-December, and they founded the DOA, uh, DAO legal entity, which is in charge of network data and rewards. So, a lot of stuff just happened recently. The big one, of course, is that finally, finally... We're going to mainnet, and I am going to be able to make some uh, crypto with this system. Uh, specific system that it is, is the WB1000. So I ended up getting the Wi-Fi version. Didn't really know a lot about it, and I thought about creating a setup video for you guys, but there are so many out there. But you don't need my help for that. Um, was interesting, though. Set it up last night. Um and I didn't know that there is a piece, sort of like the receiver piece, that sits inside the house. And that's the part that's connected via Wi-Fi and gets all the data. So I thought, like, the whole thing was going to be outside. I was going to have to deal with the wire that came inside. So happy I didn't. Uh, this is a much easier system than the last two that I had to set up on the roof. So, so glad about that. Uh, one... Other option that I really liked and was going to get was the WS2000. It was a helium version. It used the low rod network and it could be completely autonomous. It used a bunch of AA batteries and you just set it up in the middle of nowhere and it's good to go. But uh, it's kind of backlogged in the orders. Uh, I still haven't gotten it yet and I ordered it and the Wi-Fi version at the same time. So I'm just going to deal with the Wi-Fi version. Um, that said, there were some problems for those of you who are thinking about the Helium one, and they announced it later today too. They said here, we noticed issues with Helium stations yesterday and wanted to address them adequately. Uh, it's the same issue when the Helium station seems to be down, even though the network's up and running. The present situation involves Helium undergoing a migration of its network servers, leading to the depreciation of the old servers. Uh, as part of the transition, they're managing routine maintenance tasks, including the replenishment of data credit to ensure continued operation. Unfortunately, there was a lapse in Helium's timely replenishment of DC credits, marking the second occurrence of, an of this incident. And in response, we're taking proactive measures to prevent further instances like this. But obviously, uh, Helium is creating problems using their own network, which is frustrating to people like me who have IoT devices and their Wi-Fi devices and are getting into their 5G and all of the other things. So sad to hear, but at least good to know uh, these companies like WeatherXM are patient with them. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, let's let's talk about what uh, WeatherXM is. Now, they just came up with this new website, weatherxm.network, and as it says, Global Decentralized Weather Station, and you can get a lot of your data right here, uh, but I referenced everything generally from their old website, which is weatherxm.com, and as it says here, a community-powered weather network that rewards weather station owners and provides accurate weather services to individuals, businesses, and research organizations. Now, it took me a while uh, to find all of the places out there to get information, um, but it was much easier once <laughs> once I had a weather station. So uh, hopefully this is good information for you guys. Uh, first of all, before I show you all of the kind of intricacies of it, I know you want to know about the money. And as it says here, you get tokens via the WXM token. Okay. So uh, that's going to be coming out. Like I said, they've already got it live, uh, ready to go come February when we go to mainnet. Uh, as it says, the total supply of WXM is 100,000 and they're allocated in this way. 
Uh, 52% go to station rewards. 3% go to beta testers. I'm not even going to go into the rest because as soon as you hear that, you're like, oh, wait, what? Beta testers, right? Uh, so I, I got into this because I too was interested in the beta testing aspect and it took me a while to go through their tokenomics and understand the process. So like I said, um, it says 55% community rewards cause 52 go to station rewards and 3% go to an airdrop for beta participants and I wanted to get in on that so I wanted to get this before it went on main net now unfortunately this airdrop is not nearly as cool as I hoped it was so for all of you who are upset that you're like oh my god or or sorry not upset but are thinking right now oh my god I got to get uh, a a weather station before it gets on main net and eh, it's not it's not as cool of an airdrop as I thought it would be okay so as it says here three percent go to the airdrop uh three million tokens will be used to reward stations that contributed data to the network during the beta phase all right that sounded awesome right beta rewards will be allocated according to the number of days a station has provided validated to the network during the test net slash beta period okay so not so good so like I just got mine it is about mid January, right? Uh, January 10th. And we're looking at maybe, maybe February 15th for us to go to mainnet. So, I mean, I'm probably going to get somewhere around 30 to 40 days, right? So 30 to 40 days uh, that I've contributed is, is not a lot of that airdrop. It's not like they're going to take a whole bunch. It's going to say 3% and then just divide it between all the people who are currently up and running with systems. No, it's based off how long you've been online. So not, not so great. Uh, once I realized that, I wasn't as in a super hurry to get this airdrop. But I figure, hey, I'm still part of that 3%. So get a little bit more than other people are going to get, right? But how they're doing it is a little sketchy. Um, not for me. I'm not worried. It's going to be over a period of a month. That's fine. But what it says here is the number of days contributed by each station during the beta period will be calculated using the latest reward mechanism implemented at the time of the token launch and applied retrospectively to the data stations providing during the beta period. Beta rewards will be distributed to beneficiaries gradually on top of the rewards they would normally receive for operation of their stations until all beta rewards allocated to them are distributed. So for example, if a station provided data for 100 days before the token launch, they'll receive their beta rewards throughout the first 100 days after the token launch. So yeah, not so great. All right, so just wanted to realize that before anybody's jumping the gun thinking, oh, yeah, I want the beta rewards. Um, yeah, not going to work so well. Okay, so all of that said, uh, this is my station right here, uh, the Dizzy Russet Hailstone, and it's online, up and running, showing the weather. Very nice, and as you can see, they've already set up the reward system right here. Uh, and I can see a detailed view of the rewards, but as it says at the bottom, which you can't read very well, but it says here, during the beta phase, which we are in, uh, WXM tokens uh, deployed are deployed on testnet. Rewards will be recalculated and rewarded again after WXM mainnet token launch. Actual rewards may differ from the ones you see on the chart above. So... False information, test information, uh, but uh, still good to know. And actually, you can go to explore.weatherxm.com to see some of this data. As you can see, it has network statistics up here. Um, and it does say here that they're estimating you can earn 11 
hundred, and I'm just going to click on that icon there. The average amount of tokens rewarded to the weather station in the last 30 days. Okay, so they're basing it off the current number right now. So you can earn on average uh, uh, 1111 WXM a month, which is around four tokens a month. Now, what it's worth, who knows, right? We haven't gone to mainnet yet. We can't say. But uh, if you want to go and try to figure it out, please be my guest and let me know what you think it's going to be worth. Because right now, all I'm saying is, is who knows. It is going to be an Arbitron, though. So that'll be interesting. Uh, yeah. And as it shows here, you can see the amount of weather stations. And there's, uh, according to this, uh, 3,580 active. And most of those are the WS-1000s. Not the helium ones, which are the uh, WS two thousands. So, mm. okay. Well, hey, I just wanted to get that information out to you guys. Uh, you can go online, see more information. They did a little uh, blog blog post about it at Weather XM. And if you do want to go and just do a search, uh, I, I'm here on the uh, network statistics. But as you can see, you can go and look and test this out go to other people's uh using the explorer.weatherxm.com and click on their hex and just get their weather information but they're everywhere and their systems are designed both for the united states and in europe as you can see they are massively out there in europe so if you want to get one and you're not in the united states that's okay they've set it up for you too um, easy to sign up. I have put my links to the, uh, the different devices in the description below. If you want to do it, I say worth a try. Uh, once we go online, I'm going to start counting exactly how much I am making on a per daily basis. I'm going to create a scoreboard for this and some of the other devices I have, like the, uh, GeodeNet, um, like how the uh, Freedom Fi system is going with 5G and the CBRS cell, which still hasn't come on, on yet. I'm frustrated about that. Uh, I have an indoor uh, Wi-Fi helium miner. I'm going to get an outdoor Wi-Fi helium miner, put it somewhere else. Uh, I am also uh, have, well, the standard helium miners that I have uh, for uh, IoT, but as well, I have um, the Dymo, uh, the, the Auto Pie in my car, the Macaroon in my wife's car, and um, I am hopefully going to get my Hive Mappers uh, next month. That's what they tell me. So I want to start putting a whole list out that basically says, which ones are earning more and based off of the current price of their tokens, how they work out. And if you want to know this information, please do like and subscribe. Hey, thank you for your time today and you guys have a great one.